Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm talking about the Gibson Garage in Nashville, Tennessee. So I was just in Nashville for the NAM show and this place had just opened and it was not a disappointment at all. This place is phenomenal. So I wanted to grab some video to show you a kind of virtual tour. This is as you walk in the door to your left are the cash registers. And I've got to say, everyone here was so nice, so friendly and so cool. Look at that. You've got these guitars going around on like a conveyor belt on the ceiling. And everything here is for sale. These guitars are for sale. They tell me the room is also fully humidified correctly as well, because Nashville does get very humid in the summer. Lots of security, obviously, because there's lots of guitars and amps in this building. So you kind of make a left in here. You go past the registers and you get to the merchandise like the t-shirts, the keychains, the beer coasters, things like that. And then you've also got some accessories like string winders, sand hole plugs, strings, capos, everything you need because this is actually a place where Gibson want artists to stop by while they're on tour. Maybe to chill out, rehearse, try some guitars, maybe grab a guitar for an appearance or a concert. So they really have everything here. It's really great. There's some Gibson guitar strings, which I'm going to try out real soon too. And some glasses and cups. Now this room here is the acoustic room and I'm not going in here right now, but I was in there the day before and it was really fantastic. On that far wall, you've got like the standard series guitars and on this wall closest to us on the right is the custom shop acoustics and some of those are out of this world, let me tell you. Really great stuff. Now we come around here and you've got these kind of stations with the Gibson TV and, and their app. They've got an app to learn the guitar. And then in this room, it's the Mesa Boogie showroom. Now these amps are all over the place, but they've got a lot in this space here. And the idea is that you plug into them and you use the IR loader from Mesa Boogie to try the amps out. There is the JP2C, which I really want to try. 100 watt, three channel amp head. And yep, I'm a big fan of these amps and I'm kind of glad that Gibson acquired them. I was a bit worried at the time, but I think it's great. I love seeing these great guitars, and these great amps together, and I look forward to see what they do with them in the future. Here's some 335 style guitars. I really want one of those that's on my bucket list. Maybe a red one like that. Really cool, really nice. And there's their app for learning the guitar. You can try that out there. And there's some bass guitars. And then we come around here. And we've got the Vs, of course, the SGs. There's just guitars everywhere. It's really great. And amps everywhere, too. I mean, you could spend hours in this place. There we go. There's the logo. And yeah, more stations just to try the guitars out. What I love about this place is that everyone was so friendly. It's it's a perfect balance of like cool and friendly and a, you know, a little bit showy, of course. It's, it's music, right? But but humble and nice with it. And I think that's really important to strike that balance. Through here we have the Epiphone room. I used to have an Epiphone when I was a teenager. Great guitars. And here is the Kramer section. A lot of my friends love Kramer. I love the 80s style TVs. I still remember those. And then you've got the guitars in here. I don't have much experience with Kramer guitars, but I would love to try one in the future. I would love to get a kind of shreddy type 80s guitar at some point. So it's nice to see those having their own section as well. And that's right next to that Epiphone section, like I said. And there's a ton of guitars in the Epiphone section, and I didn't play any of them. I definitely have to go back to this place and play all of the guitars at some point. There we go. I had a Sheraton style when I was younger. That was like a 96, which is probably vintage now, right? I think that's why I want to get the, the Gibson 335, because I missed that guitar. There's the Les Pauls, SGs, Vs, uh, Firebirds. And we're now coming to what is arguably 
the coolest part of this. Oh, there's K and K monitors. That's cool. We've got some gold top P90 Les Pauls here. And then this room in the back corner we're now going to is where you can spec out your own custom shop Les Paul. I think this is such a fantastic idea. You can choose the top, the tuners, the pickups, everything. And one of the employees, Foster, was really nice to me and he's going to explain now the process of doing this. Oh, also in this room you have the aged guitars as well which are really highly regarded right now. The Murphy Lab guitars. But yeah, wait until you check out the way you can spec out your own Les Paul here. And by the way, for an upcharge, you can also have a piece of mahogany and the guitar will be guaranteed to be less than £8, which is also kind of cool. Here is Foster. Right here is really, really cool because this is one of the only places in the world you can come in and actually pick your flame maple top that we're going to use to build our Les Paul. We got 54 different options. Let's say this comes down and you like this guy. So pull that out. We've got every neck shape in here. An authentic 59, chunky D, modern C, the 60 V3. So you can really kind of get your hand on it and see what it's gonna feel like. But the best part is you know exactly how that finish is going to look before you put it on that guitar. With the Les Paul being a fingerprint, you should know what that fingerprint's gonna look like before the six months is up and then we finish your guitar. Well, basically, we start the process here. You pick your pickups, your hardware, everything down to the neck, the fretboard. We bubble wrap that piece of wood. We bubble wrap that piece of wood and then we drive it about five miles down the road to the custom shop. And within six months, we turn that into your Les Paul. Yep. Now you've got your blank to start from. So you want to do an authentic 59 neck, but you want to do an ebony fretboard instead. So we can do the 59 neck shape with the ebony and the block inlays and you can really customize it any way you want. And if there's a color we don't have here, take some pictures, we can send them over to Dustin at the custom shop. Normally we can make it happen. Really cool. Thank you. So, yeah. No problem. Uh, this is what we call uh, an artist cave. And uh, it's a real artist cave. It's for all of our artists to use if they're going to come out and play live. Or if we're going to work with them on their signature models, like, you know, Noel Gallagher, they'll come in here and work with us or not. And then they'll sometimes come in and just do a live gig and hang out. So that is, of course, JC, the CEO of Gibson now. I've got to say, he was really friendly, really approachable, and he even gave us all this personal tour of the backstage area, which was amazing. I can't show you this room. This room that we're entering now is where you have a bar, a place for bands to do their makeup and shoot YouTube videos and try new products. So I won't show you that room in case there's something in there we shouldn't see, but I will show you this vault. This vault is where they keep the really old really high-end expensive original kind of prototype vintage gibson guitars this vault is holding a lot of value and that's why it's all locked away but again they do let you play these guitars if you want to and you can see someone at the end here gets to play one of the les balls which is pretty incredible so i'm really impressed with this place if you're in town go and check it out I think Gibson are killing it and I can't wait to see what they do next. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell and I look forward to seeing you soon in a future video. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.